Well, prior to Manavi, uh, you know, Sai and I, I tell people we weren't poor, we were poor. <laughs> we couldn't afford the extra O and the R. You know what? Uh, they call me Tuna Supreme because for a while all we can have was tuna. And you might say, you know what? Tuna fish is not that bad, Mike. But once you eat it for more than two years straight, every single day, I mean, tuna fish becomes pretty pathetic. We would go, we would go to dumpsters and pick up garbage, and pick up things people would leave behind, chairs and, 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 and you know, electronics, things that people would throw away. And we would go and sell them in the swap shop. I remember my son, he would have his side where he would sell his, his toys and, and, you know, it put food on the table. You know, we would make some money to put food on the table. That was good, but you know what? I didn't want my son to see that. I wanted my son to have a better life. You know that this is one of the actual dumpsters where we would come to uh, and you know what, thinking back, I would have never thought in a million years that we would actually be in a position where we are right now telling our story and it just goes to prove to you that anybody can do this business. Uh, you know, growing up, my, my, my dad passed away when I was a year old, so my mom was my mom and my dad and I consider myself the biggest mama's boy on planet Earth. Uh, my mom has always dreamed of owning her own home. One of my dreams has always been to fulfill that dream of hers. And with Mana V, I fulfilled that dream of mine and my mom's. I bought her a house. She's got a beautiful two-story home with a swimming pool. She's got her backyard where she goes every day. She plants her own tomatoes. She's got a mango tree, a avocado tree. And I mean, that kind of joy that brings, that brings to my heart cannot be bought. I mean, it's, it's more gratifying to me to see that and to see all the money that we're accumulating in the bank with this opportunity. It uh, really, really brings to me that sense of a uh, more meaningful life. Something that's really, really uh, made a difference with us is how much quality time we've been able to spend with each other, whether our family, our son, uh, mom, dad. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a blessing for us in many ways, more than, more than one. It's just, it's just changed our life completely. We've, uh, Actually, my dad passed away a year and a half. That's tough for me to, to speak about. And my mom and dad were building this business before he passed away. So that gave my mom no stress. She didn't have to work and just spend that quality time. You know, things that you can't buy, that's priceless. You know, uh, something that we enjoy is now like being able to go to a nice restaurant. I remember we, we would never ever go out and eat at a nice fancy place just because, you know, we couldn't afford it. And we would love just being able to drive by and, and see the people there, you know, drinking their wine or, you know, and it just looks great. And to be able to be a part of that. Run, my baby. This is Mike and Saeed. We're here in Woo! South Beach. It's Memorial Day weekend. It is wild, perfect Great. place to uh, show off the juice. People are walking by, somebody just walked by, saw my car and said, Mana V, network marketing. I say, you're absolutely right. Today, my son is making amazing music and had it not been because we put that aside for a little bit and went and you know, uh, secured our future, we were able to uh, build him a beautiful music studio. Just yesterday, I, I, we had the joy to watch our son compete against 25 of the top 500 uh, competitors and our son won first place. You know what? I thank God that we did this because now we're able to secure his future. If you have kids and um, you're involved with them, make them the reason why you're going to do this. Do not make them the, an excuse why not to do this. They deserve more out of life and they're only going to believe that they can achieve more in life if they see you achieve more out of life. And when we started, we were extremely fired up. They called me ignorance on fire. I was just willing to do whatever it took. I, was, I wasn't afraid of the work. And I remember when I got out there initially, 
talking to all my loved ones, all my friends and neighbors, and we were just the butt of the joke. We, we didn't let that affect us. We decided to do this, we committed to do the work, and we pressed forward, we, 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 uh, we attached ourselves to people who were like-minded in the business, people who were motivated, people who were passionate. And it's something that you're gonna deal with when building this business. And it's something that you cannot allow people to affect you. Nobody would come to our house for tasting parties when we started. Um, we bought this house. Last tasting party we had here, we had about 120 people. I was like, my God, baby, we couldn't get one person to come four or five years ago. And now we, the, the house is not big enough. All those people that were making fun of us back then are looking at us now and they are now a part of our business. So it's just a matter of you making it happen before they believe and then they'll want to achieve the same thing you did. Come on, baby, go Diamond. Life, baby.